Hello. Today we are going to learn how to import an audio file into Adobe Audition and change the volume of the file. To begin, click on the Adobe Audition icon to launch the program. Before you can adjust the volume of your recording, you must first import your audio file into the program. To do this, click on the File tab in the top left corner of your screen. Then click on the word Open. You will use this window to navigate to your audio file's location, select the file, and click Open to import the file into the program. After selecting and opening your file, your screen will now display the audio waveform of the recorded file. This display is a visual representation of the recorded sound. The height of the sound wave is determined by its volume or amplitude. If we increase the amplitude of the file, we will see an increase in the size of the waveform. To manipulate the file's amplitude, we must select the tab labeled Effects from the menu bar at the top of our screen. After clicking on the Effects tab, hover over the menu item titled Amplitude and Compression. Then select Amplify. This opens the Effect Amplify window which allows us to change the amplitude of the file with the provided meter. Notice that amplitude, or volume, is measured in decibels. If we move the meter to the right and increase the decibels, the recording will get much louder. If we move the meter to the left and decrease the recording's amplitude, the recording will get much quieter. Generally, it is best to raise or lower a file's amplitude in small increments. Increments of 5 decibels is usually a good place to start. Once you have selected the change you would like to make, click Apply to apply the effect to your file. You will then return to your file's waveform display and notice that the waveform has visibly grown larger. Although the size difference may look small, small changes can have a large effect on the sound of your audio. Be sure you do not increase the amplitude of your audio to the point where the peaks of the waveform are no longer visible on your screen. This will result in distortion which is damaging to the quality of your file's playback. To save your changes, click the File tab and select Save As. Save the new file in the file location of your choosing. You may now close Adobe Audition.